Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegee Inc. and welcome back to Printer's Corner. This is where I answer all the questions you've given us throughout the couple of weeks on social media using hashtag Printer's Corner in the comments of our videos, or you might have done a direct message or been in a chat room with us or something like that. This week's questions are generally about can you use Separation Studio NXT for other things other than separating? What do we use as like a creative um, software in general? And also, can you separate images in Photoshop and Illustrator? The first question is from the Forest Floor Fungi, and they said, love the video, question for you. Can I use this software to make stencils on a Cricut cutting machine? They're referring to a video I did on how to separate artwork using Separation Studio NXT. And the answer is probably no. Well, it's definitely no, because Separation Studio NXT doesn't separate our artwork in vector format. And vector format is what these kind of cutting machines need to follow. They need to follow cut paths which are made out of vectors. What the software is doing is separating your images into raster images which contain pixels, but they're very, very fine, but it's not vector based. So no, unfortunately you can't. You're probably better off using Adobe Illustrator because that's all vectors. So actually create your artwork from within that software it definitely has a way to export that to a, any cutting machine. I know I do it all the time. Our second question is from Dusty Bowder 5149 and they asked, are you using Creative Cloud Photoshop 2024? Please let me know. Thanks. I am using the whole Adobe Creative Suite. Some of it is apps that I've never used, but Photoshop is definitely one that I use on a daily basis. I actually do the majority of my design work in Illustrator, but every so often I'll get a raster image like made of pixels and I'll have to like edit out something or use the um, expand tool, which I really love. So you can like actually, yeah, create bigger artboards and do really cool stuff on Photoshop. And then I might bring that image into Illustrator. But yeah, I use the whole package and I update all the time because Photoshop have really good little beta versions where they're trialing out all these really cool little tools that are great for creatives. So Photoshop is definitely one of the tools that I use, but if I'm honest, I pay for all of them and then I just pick and choose as and when the project needs it. Our final question is from Seymour says 76543. And they said, can you separate images on Photoshop instead of Illustrator? Yes, of course, Illustrator isn't always the best for fo for separating images because they might not be vector based. So vectors are like not pixels, they're just points connected with paths and they're scalable and that's why it makes them great. But a lot of artwork doesn't need it and isn't designed like that. Often when you get a design file, they might have actually done it on Photoshop, they might have drawn it on an iPad using a software that isn't useful um, for Illustrator. So yes, you can in Photoshop. There's loads of tutorials on it, but if I'm honest, it's more efficient doing it with a screen separation software instead, just because you can do lots of other things with it. So if you're trying to separate your images in Photoshop, you're quite limited with things like if you want to add a stroke or if you want to choke an underbase on a very complicated image, you'll have to know a lot about it. And most of the time it's worth just sending that job out, getting your separations back from someone or invest in a separation software in-house. Um, it's tricky, but there are lots of tutorials and you should be able to get your head around it with, a, with quite a bit of tuition on YouTube University. To round up this week's main question, which is, should I use Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop for screen printing? And the answer is both, because you don't know what the customer is going to send you in terms of artwork. You don't know whether one day you're going to want to do some raster-based image or a photograph or something like that. 
So having the whole Adobe Creative Suite at your disposal for dealing with all the different artworks and images and even combining them, like having a little bit of pixelated things in your Illustrator file is just really, really handy. So don't limit yourself to one. You have to learn both in the end anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Printer's Corner. Make sure to get involved by asking more questions or answering what you would say to these questions in the comments. Please also subscribe as only a really small percentage of the people who watch the videos are subscribers at the moment. Uh, you can also get involved with our community poll. That's on the community tab of our channel page and you can answer all the different poll questions. You can even suggest new poll questions for the future and I can ask them to the community, see what everyone's up to and see if there's anything that we're missing out on or that we need to know about as a community of screen printers and garment decorators. I hope you have a great week and I hope you do loads of really good prints and don't rip any screens.